Good morning, class. It's May 7, 2021, and I hope everyone is doing good. So before we start our class for today, I'm going to present my PowerPoint presentation. So wait for a while. Is my PowerPoint presentation visible? Hello, class. Yes, ma'am. Okay, is my audio clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so to start our class for today, I have here three sentences. And first, I want you to read first these sentences. So, who wants to read these sentences? Santiago, ma'am. Okay, Miss Santiago, can you read it for me? I what I'm I have to be home. She always fed her chicken before she fed her. Okay, thank you for reading that for me. So now I want you to identify what is the time word that being used in the first sentence. Anyone? Um anyone? Mom. Okay, Miss Santiago again. Already po. Okay, how about the second one? Um, the time word that's being used in the sentence. Yes, very good. Yes. So how about for the last one? <clears throat> Can you identify the time word that's being used for the last sentence? Anyone? Yes, always. So the time word that's being used in the first sentence is already, and the second sentence is yet, and the third one is always. So I have a follow-up question for you, class. So how did you know that those words are time words? Anyone? Do you have any idea? Yes, so what is time words? Time word is a word that expresses or specifies time. You are right, Miss Ordonio. Indicate time. So, the always, yet, and already is a sample of time words, but besides that, there's a lot of time, time words that being used in a sentence. Do you have any time words that you already know? Do you have any time words that you already know? Yes, please. Ardonia? Yes, very good, but for today's discussion, we will only focus on the time words already, yet, and always. Are you okay with that? Yes. So, for you to understand those time words, first we need to um, explain what is the meaning of that word, right? So first we are going to discuss the time words already. So who wants to read the, the time word already? Can you read it for me? Um, okay, Miss Santiago. Already. Use it to emphasize the for something else or earlier than expected. And then I have finished lunch, but I'm already hungry. Okay, so I have here my example for you to understand better. So my example is, I have finished lunch, but I'm already hungry. What word that I want to 
um, emphasizing by example. What word that I want to emphasize? I want to emphasize that I am hungry, right? So, so it has happened earlier. So, we said that we use already to emphasize that something happened before something else or earlier than expected, right? So, always remember that. Already, we use it to emphasize that something happened, okay? So, for the second one, the time word yet, yet is used in the sentence, if you want to let others know that you are still in a situation and it is going to continue in the near future. Okay, so who wants to read my example here? Anyone, can you read it for me? Anyone? Hello, class, can you hear me? Sa Okay, Miss Ordonio. What? Yes, the sample sentence. So, in my example, he or she is still in a situation. He or she is still in a situation. Yes, ma'am. How do you say so that he's still in a situation? Because he he is still waiting for the results. Po. Yes, exactly. So we said that we use yet if you want to let others know that you are still in the situation. So in the example, he's still in a situation that he's waiting for his best results. So Remember that we use yet if we want to let others know that we're still in that situation. So for the last one, the time word always, <clears throat> excuse me, we use always to refer in regular events or states, especially ones which are problematic or which we do not like or want. So an example sentence here is, she's always complaining about her job. So my example, I use a problematic event because she's always complaining about her job. And we said that we use always in a, in a problematic event that which we, do, which we do not like or want. Okay, remember that we use always if we want to refer in a regular event or especially in a problematic event. So um, again, we use already if you want to emphasize that. Um, we want to emphasize, um, well, if we want to emphasize um, events or earlier that happened um, before or earlier, and yet we always use yet if we want to let others know that we're still in that situation, and we use always if we want to refer in regular events or states, especially ones which are problematic or we do not like or want, okay? Is that clear for you guys? Yes, ma'am. So I already discussed the words of um, already, yet, and always. Now I want to discuss further about the rules and uses in using time words already, yet, and always. Okay? So let's go back to already. Already is used to refer to an action that happened sooner than expected. We already talked about that earlier, right? And it is used in affirmative sentences in the present or past, but never in future. So it says that already used in affirmative sentences. What is affirmative sentences? An affirmative sentence says that um, affirmative sentences or word is expresses the validity or truth. So, for example, I will use already in affirmative sentences. Um, I already accepted Angelo's friend request. It is affirmative sentence because it is true that it is true that I already accepted the, the Angelo's friend request. Do you understand, class, 
how do you how we will be going to use already in affirmative sentences and yes. take note and take note that already is used in present or past but never in future okay so the question now is how will we going to use already in a sentence what is the rules in using already so here it is so in present tense, it is placed between the subject and verb. So, can you read the, my example below? Anyone? Wait. Yes. Can you read it for me again? The, the uh, sample sentence in present tense. What is the subject? What is the verb? Yeah, so I put already between Mary and here. Because it says that if you use already in present tense, it is placed between the subject and verb. Do you understand? That's why I put already um, between Mary and here. Because the subject is Mary and the verb is here. Is it clear? Yes. So, and the second one, in present and present perfect questions, it comes immediately after the subject. So... How does he already have the answers to tomorrow's test? So, what is the subject? He, mom. So, he is the subject. So, I put already after he because he is the subject. Because it says that in present and present perfect question, it, the, the word already, it comes immediately after the subject. Okay? So, for the last one, in present perfect sentences, the order is have plus already plus past participle. So, um, take note for that order. Have plus already plus past participle. So, have they already obtained their visas? So, again, have plus already and the past participle. So, what is past participle? It is a word verb that usually end with ed. So, here in my example, the past participle is the word obtain. So, that's why I put already before obtain. So, again, in present tense, it is placed between the subject and verb. In present and present perfect question, it comes immediately after the subject. And in present perfect sentences, the order is have, plus already, plus past participle. Do you understand the uses and the rules in using already? Do you understand? Yes, yes Mama. Okay. So let's move on in the time word, yet. So, yet refers to an action that is expected in the future. So, it is not used in the past. So, if already is not used in the future, then yet is not used in the past. Okay, take note, for, take note for that. So, we will use yet if we want to ask if something expected has to happen. It is usually placed at the end of the sentence or question. So, I have here my three examples. Are we there yet? Is the report ready yet? Hasn't your mother told you yet? So, because we said that, we, use yet, we, we usually use yet at the end of the sentence or question. Do you understand? Okay, so it is also we use um yeah to say that something expected hasn't happened. So I have here again the sample sentences. Mary can't go home yet. She hasn't finished her work. They haven't paid me yet. My parents haven't kicked me out of their house yet. The, these three examples are the, the scenario that, <clears throat> excuse me, that hasn't expected happen. Excuse me. 
<coughs> okay. So, because we said that, we use yet to say that something expected hasn't happened. So, first, we use we usually use yet at the end of the sentence or a question. In the second one, we use yet to say that something expected hasn't happened. Do you understand the uses of yet? Yes, for mom. Okay, so now let's proceed for the last one. Always. <laughs> Always can mean on every occasion, forever, or very frequently. In this meaning, we use it with simple tense form. She always bring me flowers when she comes to visit. I will always love you. Kenneth has always been called Kenny by his family. So, in the first sentence, what is the tense that being used? What tenses are being used in the first sentence? Hey, class, are you there? Mom, simple tense for? Yes. Um, all of these um, examples are used with a uh, simple tense because always is used, uh, doesn't, the uh, tenses that being used in always is simple tense form, okay? So, we most commonly use always in a middle position between the subject and the main verb after the modal verb, the first auxiliary verb, or after the main, the main verb, be. So, for the first one, he always wears a hat. So, I put always up, uh, between the subject and the main verb. The subject is he and the main verb is where. Okay, take note for that. We use always between the subject and the main verb. Now, for the second one, I have always wanted an open top sports car. So, I, I put always after the first auxiliary verb. The, the first auxiliary verb is I have, so I put always after that because it says that we use always after the, the modal verb or first auxiliary. Okay? So, and for the last one, I envy you, you will always be happy. So, I put always after the modal uh, the first the modal verb this time i put always after the modal verb okay so remember that we use um always between the subject and main verb after the modal verb or a first auxiliary verb after the main verb be okay so we don't use always at the beginning of a statement or questions. Take note for that. We don't use always at the beginning of, the, of a statement or questions like this. Um, the, correct, um, the correct position is she's always cooks wonderful meals, not always she cooks wonderful meals. Okay? Another one. The correct one is do you always go camping for your summer holidays and not Always do you go camping? Do you understand, class? Do you understand? Yes, for mom. Now, I want you to give me a sample sentence using the time word already. Anyone? Can you make a sample sentence using time word already? No class. Hello class, this you there? Yes, Miss Ardonia. Yes. How about for the time words yet? Can you make a uh, sample sentence? Oh, again, Miss Arizona. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. How about for the last one, the time word always?
Miss Santiago, can you make a sample sentence? My niece always watches Coco Melon. Okay, very good. It seems like you understand their lesson for today. Now, I have here my, my um, active, short activity and you are going to answer it, okay? So, you, you will going to choose what is the correct answer, okay? So, the first one wants to read and answer the number one. Mom? Yes, Miss Santiago? Number one, have you blank had lunch? Um, the answer is A already. Yes, very good. How about for the second one, number two? Miss Ordonio, can you read it for me and choose the correct answer? Uh, what is the answer? Miss Ordonia? What is the what is the answer in number two? Can you hear me? Yes, po, ma'am. Is Marius or Donya still there? I think she is having a uh, difficulty with her connection, po. Okay. Have you completed your homework, plan? A already, B yet, C always. The correct answer is yes. Have you completed your homework yet? So for the third one, have you started this exercise? What is the answer? A for mom. Yes. Have you started this exercise already? So for the fourth one, he blank take his time in everything that he does. So and the answer is always. Always. He always takes his time in everything that he does. So for the last item, who wants to read? I have so, only known her for two minutes and I am blank in love. So what already. Is that? Yes, already. I have only known her for two minutes and I am already in love. So... That's it for today, class. Thank you for attending our class. And I hope you learned something from our today's discussion. Okay? Thank you for, for your time. Thank you and God bless. And goodbye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.